day two. Well, a cock a doodle do, and a good morning to you two fellers. Back here for day two of one Disco Elysium. Thank you guys for joining me again. Really, really, as always, I really appreciate it. As I like to do at the start of every video, I like to respond. And I want to address some of the stuff that I've been getting from you guys, as always. Number one, I got a few comments that are like, Hey man, uh, you know, perhaps don't play this game if you're relating so out with the main character. Why can I talk to her now? Can I? Is it just knocking? The door is closed. Nah. Um... What about Kim? And yeah, as I was saying, I really appreciate that. It, it does mean a lot to me that you guys care about a stranger on the internet and their well-being. And I, I'm not saying that lately. I know people might say stuff like that, like fairly, Whoa, mama! It's a new section's been opened. I know people might say stuff like that frivolously, but um... Not I. Do you know what I mean? There he is! There is swag monster Kim Katsuragi. Okay, let me get the point across. I I think it's important for me to play this game. Um, I don't know enough about Mr. Dubois here to say 100% that he's he's literally me. I don't know, but definitely a lot of the things that I'm seeing and a lot of things he's saying are things that I've like said and done myself. And I think it's good for me to play this game. I I. Un <laughs> Unironically, I just recently quit therapy and no bullshit, just playing this game has done a lot more for me as far as like catharsis and processing goes already than therapy was doing. Like the, after the last gameplay ended, I, I like felt like so sick. You know, the game is like, oh, do you want to do speed? And I'm like, no, I, I don't want to touch any like substances. Like, and I was in bed and I was thinking like, is there a way I can get my wife back in the game? Like, can I stop fucking up? Like, can I get it together? Do you know what I mean? Like, I think it's good for me to play. People are like, why do you relate to the guy so much? Um, I'm not gonna like slash blog this, you know? Uh, but I, I just know a lot about loss, unfortunately. I'm really, 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 really familiar with loss. Um, and being in a lot of those really color dark places and dark holes and uh, fucking yourself up, you know? So there's that. People also told me that I should like take it slow and enjoy the game. Um, and that was reassuring. I'm glad because I felt like I was slack. And I always feel guilty when I take a long time to play games because I'm bad at them. Um... So I will do that, and we'll get into our goals and objectives in a second. I will talk to you, old lady! I know that you're worried! I'm gonna fucking knock this old lady's block off. Um, secondly, about some of the muted parts of the videos, it's YouTube and their copyright size, but somebody in the comments told me that, um, what color? Two, and a one, and a two, and a one, and a ah, 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 ah. Ah, line dancing. I might have ADHD. That might be real. Somebody comments with me that there's a streamer mode that replaces certain copyrighted music with like safe versions, and I enabled that. It makes me a little sad because some of the music, especially the music in the last scene that I played in the last video, is like so like harrowing. It really hit me, but I'll probably just do another personal playthrough for myself. Um, but that being said, I wanna my goals for today. I want to figure out if there's a way I can outsmart Mr. Everard Claire because I don't know that I want to do what he wants me to do. Do you know what I mean? But let's talk to this old lady. Well, let's talk to Kim first. How you doing, buddy? Morning. Morning. I'm so... I'm such a Kim Kataragi fan, dude. I don't, the characterization of him is so subtle and it's I've done so well. I took care of the body. The thought of him decomposing in my MC wouldn't let me sleep. Thanks, man. I'm just glad he's gone. We have, we have other, other matters, matters to, to attend to, for sure. The Union Muscle finally turned up, and they look rowdy. We, we need, need to, to talk them. to them. Alright. What do you mean rowdy, I though? completely forgot. Sorry, I had a rough night's sleep. It's them by the looks of it. Loud and nasty. Just like, just the, like the manager said. said. Loud and nasty. That's how... Alright, never mind. We're... we're... <laughs> Dude, it's, it's five minutes into the gameplay. We can't already be popping off. Anyways, um, I'm a pretty superstitious guy. So I, I like to believe in, you know, fate and omens and these sorts of things. I, I don't know that I actually believe in it. It's just like, 
it's just like a fun little side quest. I just like it, you know, IRL side quest. Um, and so I don't think that it's entirely coincidental that I just like, dude, I opened Steam. I've been thinking about playing this game for a long time. I opened Steam one day. It was on sale for 10 bucks. I was like, why not? I'll just grab it. I was originally going to be playing Persona 5, but something was like, yo, just play Disco Elysium. And here we are. Do you know what I mean? So what color? Uh, yeah, I think, I think I'm going to keep playing it. I'm going to go through, I'm going to take my time and, uh, yeah, please keep telling me stuff in the comments. So that is a less miserable experience. Um, all right, one what's up, Kim? thread less to worry about and one big problem to replace it. I mean, ungovernable. Martinez isn't exactly enthusiastic about the RCM being here. They prefer, they prefer to, to be, be policed, policed by the, by the union. union. These, These men, men here. here. Interesting. Men drink beer for breakfast. Oh, no so we actually have like beef on ironically. The ones they're not, there's no way they're going to be happy the about the me way. pulling up being like, hey man, I'm the cops. They're like, yeah, no, we're the cops, buddy. And the big one must be Hardy himself. All right. All right. One more thing before we do. Okay. We don't have to talk to them immediately. We can walk right past them, continue with our business. Okay. I do want to talk to them though. Good. A power move. Purposefully concentrate on something else first. Really? They're in no hurry to leave. They think they own the place. Anyway, I leave that choice to you. Whatever right, you what's... decide is fine by me. What's going on with old girl here? Also, yeah? Just a moment, officer. What's that, baby? Lena, the cryptozoologist's wife. Interesting. And there's no public phones nearby? The mm -mm. closest phone booth is down the coast. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. All right. It's fine. I understand. Thank you, Thank you anyway. anyway. Now then. Now then. What's up, baby? Please don't trouble yourself about me, sweetie. I was just hoping to make a call, but use the radio, use mama. Who you need to talk to? Probably has a phone, but I, I can't really get there or to the phone booth down the coast. And Gary's phone is dead too. Or do you need a phone to call? To let the young woman who's house sitting for us know that we may be delayed. Morel, my husband, and our friend Gary. Her name, her husband's name is by Monday her, night. Morel. But Damn, my friend's name was I Gary. He passed away when he was 16. Cool guy. Cool guy. See, this game just has like so many little like moments and coincidences that just like bring shit up for me. I don't know what it is, dude. I feel like the dev might be like one of the voices in my head that just popped out and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna make a game just to like kill this guy. They're still I missing. I was also hoping she'd heard from Morel. Oh. Forgive me for not introducing myself. Is it myself. them boys playing baseball my down at the coast? Lena. My husband and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. She sounds like the voice actress for Tree Trunks. Hey, Anarchy in the Future, editing this, is it Tree Trunks? Hello, Anarchy in the Past. It is indeed not Polly Lou Livingston, the voice actor for Tree Trunks, but rather Tegan Hitchens, who does a lot of voices in this game. So there you go. Good question. Question for you. How are you talking to me right now? The shadow people. They're back. My husband and I is staying with a friend Gary down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. You hear that? Someone's missing. There could be foul play afoot. Mm. That's right. Now skip the foreplay. Time to dive into the dark alleys. Start shaking mm. down the usual suspects, you know, leg, leg work. work. Did the painting for authority is so all the all the fucking paintings are so somebody told me there's like displayed series of all these paintings. Look, I love these paintings. I don't quite know that I want to wake up in the middle of the night, look up and see authority <laughs> or reaction speed or volition or shivers staring down at me. I might piss doing some good will alleviate the hangover. Mm. At least you're of use to someone. Has he gone missing before? I mean, I like the old lady. I don't know. She might be evil, but I kind of fuck with her. That's just it. This isn't like him at all. He always, he always plans, plans his, his expeditions, expeditions so carefully. carefully. All right. A cold breeze hisses through dense thickets of shivers. Rice. Something sweet in it, somnolent. A damp chill goes down your spine. When you look around, you're still in the whirling in rags. A cold breeze hisses through the dense thickness of reeds. Something sweet in it. Somnolent. 
Does somnolent mean like it, it puts you to because somnos is like sleep, right? So what is somnolent? Does it like calm you? Let's see. Sleepy, drowsy. Okay. A damp chill goes down your a damp chill. You're still in the whirling and rags. But you have more important things to worry about. What is yeah, what is Just what? some field work, sweetie. Morel is a highly trained scientist. He and his assistant Gary are but they should have returned by now. They were just going down the coast. Is this the guys? Okay, I'll go. I'll go take a look over it. Because I think I need to head down that way up. anyway. That was broken. Could this be it? Oh my! What happened to the water lock? Really don't know, babe. Well, whatever the cause, I'm thankful to both. Wait, was that it? Did I actually <laughs> spared me another sleepless night? I'll go talk to the lads. You're welcome, ma'am. I hate to ask, but if your investigation takes you to I will, the other baby, side, I will. We're going coast, over there anyway. Please do keep an eye out for my husband. We're going over this there anyway. This will surely lead to a cryptozoological mystery with that extremely rare insect. Who is the vo- It just- the voice actor sounds like a black man to me. Yeah, alright, yeah, 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 he- I was like- I, I was like, this guy, I hear my people. You know what I mean? I hear my people in his voice. Bro's handsome too. Damn, what a voice. All right. And if you see him, let him know Lena is waiting for him here at the Whirling. He gets so tangled up in his work that he may not know the walk. Oh, you're such a deer. I am such a deer, ain't I? You know, I got this like once during like a crazy manic episode, I got this tattoo on my neck. It's really, it says good boy. And every once in a while, I snap to my senses. I'm like, who the fuck let me get a tattoo? Visible as fuck on my neck. God damn, talking about a good boy. But every once in a while, I'd be doing shit and I'm like, it's pretty good boy behavior, man. I don't know. When the tattoo artist did it and they were done, they just sort of like tapped me on the shoulder and they're like, yeah, you're a good boy. I was like, all right, dude, thanks. I played it off. Little did that guy know. Little did he know. I just fallen in love. All right, let's take a look at our trusty journal, dude. Um, find the Ahmed gloves. Fishing village down the coast. So we're going to the coast anyway. I have really held down myself. This is divine. All right, yes, Gaston. That's what you need, Gaston. Rene, man. Rene, why are you being a hater for real? Rene, this, this, it's a little pleasure. Life doesn't need to be a... Um, a I'm struggle. A struggle. Real as fuck, Gaston. Hello, officer. How might I be of assistance on this fine day? Let me get a bite of the sandwich, man. I'm sorry, officer, but I really don't share food. Nothing personal. It's just a principle. You're a hater, man. The only one you have. <laughs> Rene. Suddenly you realize how hungry you are. The last time you ate must have been... God knows when. How? Dude, The yeah. sandwich looks like a culinary wonder. Well made and abundant. Mm. In addition, can to I the tell you something though? I fucking hate sandwiches. Fun. I know this is a hot take. Sandwiches suck. There is there is not a sandwich on the face of this earth that I've enjoyed. Cause the good thing about sandwiches is the stuff inside. At least in America, actually in Europe too. Every single sandwich I've had, the bread is too dry. It, it, it like cuts the roof of my mouth. It's dr it, it just like takes away from the good stuff, which is the stuff inside. Turkey, whack. Most Italian meats, really not that good. All the, the, the sandwiches, dog shit. I, I really don't oh, even want it. That's good. That's very good. You must have other business then. Yo, check out this 3% success. Give me your sandwich, baby. A man so Fucking hell. This sandwich calls for a principled approach. Time to get political. I'm not sure Too about late. this. That is already fighting the bad fight. No. Make it stick. No. Say one of these fascist or com Whoa. I'm fucking off. Easy there, gold mouth. He doesn't have to say anything. I'm we not just, look, man. I know I want to be an abusive baby. cop, but I don't want to fuck over somebody for a sandwich. Right. Bro is. Let's hear them, officer. Bro is enjoying his sandwich. I always like doing these like very low checks. Um, just cause like I love when you never know, dude. You're telling me 0.5% chance? It means there's a chance, baby. It's not zero. You know, go get him. That's what I always say, man. It ain't zero. Shout out to Fate Grand Order. <laughs> Shout out to all the shitty gotcha games I've played over the years. 
What do you know about the dead man? Let me think. I heard someone was hanged and left on a tree for a week. Of course, of it. Hey, what's up, Brain? I feel like Renee hates me. Watch out, Gaston. It's Inspector Off. Come to throw more of our stuff into the sea, officer. My fault, Rene. You seem to be playing in a crater? Yes. The terrain here provides an interesting variety to a familiar game. Do you know who created it? I do. Fire from heavy artillery. Really? Heavy artillery fire, you say? That's the best kind of artillery fire. Very interesting. Wait, the war was that crazy? They had artillery fire making craters, dude? Why what? Because that's what happens when communists hijack your country, execute your supreme leadership, and turn your capital into a slaughterhouse. You use heavy ordnance to clean up your home. Did you use it? Sadly, no. It was the foreigners who brought them to their knees. We fought valiantly. Too valiantly. So, so valiantly, valiantly got we licked. got licked. Should have fought dirty, like they did with their suicide sex cult propaganda and mad anarchist women strapped to shrapnel bombs. We didn't, though, and we lacked caliber. God bless him, but the suzerain's cannon simply weren't big enough. Dude, suicide sex cult propaganda would, would be such a good band. Like, I actively might have to start a band called Suicide Sex Cult Propaganda. Because I just gotta stop. I had to suffer. Yes. The military coordinated amphibious landing to take back Revachol. Revachol. He finds your lack of historic knowledge troubling. A sign of mental, mental deterioration, deterioration in the preceding generation. You guys put lead in our water, man. I don't know what to tell you. Shout out to all the boomers who have lead poisoning, leading them to have literally less empathy in life. That's cool. Martinez was used as one of the three footholds in Revachel during Operation Deathblow in 08. The other two, this here is Blood Ground, where Coalition Boots first made landfall and cleaned those rabbit dogs out. Blood Ground? You got old René going there. Like he isn't hungry enough already. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong, officer. I hate, I hate the foreign dogs, dog, but the enemy and my the enemy. enemy of my enemy and all that. They're the lesser evil. Sure. Damn right, son. They laid the fire of hell on the city before they stormed it. And it was- He approves of this radical approach. Knows it was necessary. Dude, half late? The rest of the city got cleaned up, but Martinez they keep as a monument. And now- Well, it's your own damn fault. You, you we, we, the coalition, coalition River Show, whoever, whoever you want to blame, never finished the job. Blame. Never finished the job. You don't even begin to truly understand the players on the table, let alone the specific circumstances surrounding the... What do you think? I'm sorry it had to be them. After eight years of fighting those hyenas, I would have preferred if the right honorable king... Gear... This royal failure... Instead, all that is just, holy, and beautiful in the world. Wiped, wiped away, away. And now, now it's just neon, neon signs with toothpaste ads everywhere. everywhere. Real. Foreign inf this is just what the commies wanted. This was the place. The suzerain is the king. Has everyone forgotten already? They've forgotten Soon, already. They will forget everything. Him, Him too. too. He chooses then anger he chooses over anger melancholy. Over melancholy. Damn. <sighs> That's the mark of it's good characterization for me, to man. Do. It's like, if, if you when make me hate a character or dislike a character immediately and then the give it reason to be like, all right, I get why he's like that. You know what I mean? Like, Renee's pretty abrasive, but what color? You know what I mean? Like, I get it. I get it. You know? I don't exactly agree, but I get it. And I think that's pretty good. Shout out, Renee. Is this that guy from the bear? <laughs> yeah, uh, this is in fact not Maddie Matheson. <laughs> I would like to apologize. <laughs> yes? Hello? Me? No one. I'm just a working class woman. I'm just a working class woman. You sound like a spy. She doesn't really want to be disturbed that much. I don't care. What are you doing over here? For something to read. It is. I know you are. What with? This citizen thinks she can do without your assistance. 
don't buy it. They all need help. Yeah. The woman before you. Hey, Gorly Pop. Uh, do you know anything about them gloves? Hello, sir. Step right in. The store is open. Dude, I feel so bad for this little girl, Annette, and our weird ass mom. Hello, Annette. It's me. Are you interested in a new and exciting book? No. Okay, sir. I'll try to answer any questions you have. I hope they're about books. Who is that? Oh, that's Auntie Billy. She's nice if a bit distressed. Why is she distressed? I think she is a bad husband. A bad Not husband? I'll nice kill him. Helpful. Tell Auntie Billy I'll handle the bad husband. My name is Annette, sir. My mum, her name is Plaisance. She owns this. Feel free to step in and browse our wares. Yeah, why are you out in the cold? I'm signalling that the store is open. Otherwise, people might not know. A sudden gush of wind turns the pages of the books on the counters. She covers her face. <laughs> oh, Annette! Smiling. You poor, but poor little cold. girl. Kind of you to offer, sir. What could you do to help her anyway? I'm gonna go yell. I'm gonna go yell at the mom. I feel like she's not gonna be happy if I say I'm gonna go talk to your mama. Thank you, sir. I'm happy to help mom out with the store. Yeah, let's leave right now. Let's go talk to Plaisance. Hey, Plaisance, you bitch! Hey, uh, let the girl come Hello in or you're arrested. And well, Annette, yes, my daughter. I hope she wasn't slacking off again with her nose in science. Wonderful! Did you talk to her? Great. I'm scared. Her opinion of her daughter depends on how well she lured you. My she's precious, very, she's very good. Her brings joy to my heart. If you have children, I hope they turn out as great as my Annette. Um, let her inside. Mind your own business, sir. In no. our society, people don't get to tell each other how to raise their children. It's I need a gun. I actually business. need a gun. You must be kidding. There's nothing like that happening. Good, sir. What does a young child do with money anyway? Slap the cuffs on her. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, of course, officer. Good. Yes, I'm not joking. Quite enough fun here. Kim. Right. Kim. The woman before you scans the store. Her shoulders. Kim, man. Kim keeps cock blocking me from being a shitty cop, man. Annette! Go inside, Annette. It's cold. I gotta leave. That's making me sad, man. Alright, what's going on? Yay, Tommy Leon. What's up, boy? Our goals for today find a way to not do Everard Claire's bidding. And, uh, what else? Last time my goals were don't cry. I don't think that's really gonna happen. You know, he had to start off setting realistic goals. What's up, the old lady? Still has her eyes fixed on the photograph in her hands in the background. The Let me go talk to Joyce, dude. Maybe, maybe she'll let me hop on a boat and take me to the fishing village. Joyce makes my little pick. <laughs> Joyce makes my little pickle feel funny. Let's go talk to Joyce. <laughs> Joycey poo. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? Not an umbrella, I hope. I don't need one myself, you see. Thanks, Joyce. All around you, rain keeps falling down. On the wooden boards she's standing on, and on the water around you. Very rugged. Good choice. Now, I suspect you had questions. Nothing like talking to pass a rainy day. Am I right? Sure. Would well, you know anything about the these tattoos? I'm afraid this is a discussion for once we've cleared the lynching question. Better not tie the fourth day to the- She wants to answer the question. Protocol keeps her from it. The lorries are still stuck at the roundabout. If the police is asking, one, one of, of the, the drivers, drivers might, might admit to it. Okay. All right, we'd never accepted the case. All Excellent. right. According to my reports, there are at least three lorry drivers lingering near the roundabout. Okay. Hopefully one of them will know something. It may come to nothing, or it may just blow the case wide open. I sus In the meantime, let me know if there's any other way I may be of assistance. Oh, I know. All right, Joyce. All right. <laughs> All right, Joyce. Um, also, might I say, a lot of you... What is this? This is a wall on the side of an apartment building. Conceptualization? I might have just wasted a skill point, but yo. 
Wait, did I not just level conceptualization? I did, didn't I? Damn, it's still a 3%? Just an ordinary wall. Nothing to see here. Yo, check out this 3% success check, though. Green! You have no Fuck. clue. It's so many walls all over Martinez. Weather-worn. Crap. Did I hear this song? I hear this song just sitting there. Welcome to Revachol! Hey, fucko! Looking for something odd? Come to tell me to fuck off again? Yes, what's your stance on drugs? God, they're shit, man. I don't let anything pollute my body. Yeah, <laughs> why not? You know where that shit comes from? Sarah Miridza. Dude, Sarah imagine Sarah. being so Sarah. racist Sarah. that you're above they drugs. Money from our local junkies here and then use it to outcompete us in the manufacturing sector. Kind of they base, not gonna lie. They us in a fair fight. So they have to get us to weaken ourselves somehow. It's racial sabotage. Racial economic sabotage. He eyes you wearily, unsure how to respond. This goes, goes on, on for, for about And then, seconds. continue? I don't know shit. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. What do you think? I can't leave the lorry unguarded. Stuff's been getting looted lately. It's those little kips sneaking on at night. If they touch my stuff, the bosses will be on my ass like ass cancer. Not in, not out. I'll never, never betray, betray the, the purity of my pilots. tribe. Dude, I kind of believe him. I kind of believe him. <laughs> I kind of believe him. I, I do believe he's so racist that he's above drugs. Dude, is it Tommy Leom? Tommy Leom! Tommy Leom, you smuggling drugs? Stuck in the rain in a traffic jam, man. What's on your mind? You know about drugs, man? Ah, oh, man. Me and narcotics go way back. But those days are behind me. There are other addictions in my life now. Why the inquiry, my man? I need to get high, Tommy. Hey, man, that's serious criminal talk. Are you trying to pull some sort of an entrapment thing on me? I so literally... Subtlety. Better get straight to the point. No, I want... <laughs> I want drugs. We have a credible lead, sir. Someone on. Not me, man. No way. I don't. Gotta guard the stuff. Bosses don't look kindly. Working on these rhymes clearly leads to muscular atrophy. Make sure you don't get up. Look, man. I try to stay away from the criminal underbelly of Revachol. I'm a guest here. You really need to find another man to probe with those questions. Success. Your best. Verse. Fuck. She you broke me. She fucking broke me. She <laughs> fuck it, That's man. That's brutal, man. But you know, time will. No, stop. He's already mortified. All right. I actually I, I don't know that <laughs> she fucked me until I. Um, in the name of God. <laughs> in the name of God, dude. Literally. It's not real, guys. Yeah, yeah, I get that, and it's cool, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. These are your yes, and I also thank you. <laughs> Actually, fucked, man. Tommy thinks I'm a weirdo now. Um, let's talk to this guy. Make him a little scared. Looking for something odd? Come to tell me to fuck off again? Who's running the drugs? Isn't it man? obvious? Fucking ceiling. That beady eyed sus. Really. His little side business is a scam. I wouldn't be surprised if he was peddling drugs as well. Of course he's a lorry driver. What? He tell you he's just some simple... His tribe are natural liars. It's in their blood. I wouldn't be so sure about it. Not in... Guess so. Right, let's go see Silang. Actually, let me stop in Tafrita. Shout out to the commenter that gave me the recipe for apple shorla. Appreciate it. Oh, uh, can I afford to buy shit from Frita? No, because I gotta pay rent! Fuck, man. Hello, Silang. Everything's still cool here, officer. Me? It's a boring story, officer. Who cares about the past? I'm all very cool. Drugs? I don't go in for that, officer. Drugs, drugs ruin, ruin lives. lives. Unless you're into drugs, of course. In which case, drugs are <laughs> excellent. Mwah. 
Thank I'm you, Tasty Drugs. I'm super into drugs, dude. That's very cool. A lot of the coolest detectives do. Sir, it appears to be true. No drugs in sight. Not in the box of sunglasses or under the speakers. That's even cooler. You investigating that and all. But who said that? The fat it's racist. The fat racist, right? I... So you admit you're... No, I just said I work harder and he's an asshole. Wait, why doesn't he want to admit he's a lorry driver? Okay, maybe I'm a lorry driver too. A little. But that's not the most important thing about me. That's my day job. This, this is my dream. Is my dream. That's very cute, Silang. Um, stop squirming, Nothing. though. I told you. And what? Crowd, you know. He doesn't want to talk about them. He's afraid. Who the fuck are you afraid of, Silang? Look, there's bad people doing bad things here. That's all I know. Please don't get me into this mess. I've spent 15 years working my way up. All right, all right. You know what? When you need to catch flies, honey is more effective than vinegar. It's a she, okay? The other drivers call her the lady driver. You're better off staying away from her. The so old lady? Talk about her. She's no lady. I don't know. Maybe, Maybe that's why she's she high as shit, dude. I don't get involved. It could be. She was strange. All of them. I don't know. Who exactly is talking about this lady driver of- All of them! Even the ones who've left! I don't hang out with them! I don't remember who has tattoos! You can walk away from here with funky sunglasses, detective! Wait, give me you. some money! Green! No need Fuck it! Yo, way. one of these days, man! Yo, I didn't realize how hard it is to get these 17% checks! So how the fuck did I get two 17% checks in a row against Measurehead? Right, let's go chat up the old lady. It would make sense if it's her, right? Like, she's like pretty cooked. She's a uh, gorked even, you could say. Yeah, I was trying to talk to this old lady. Kim Kataragi was telling me, nah, she's just an old lady. I fuck with Kim Kataragi, but Kim Kataragi honestly gets in the way a lot of the time of my detective work, man. The woman still has her eyes fixed. If you want her attention, you may need to be more forceful. Where am I? Who are you? Who are you? The smile on her face has disappeared, replaced by the weary aspect of a cornered beast. Oh, never mind. I remember now. I'm still stuck in that traffic jam. In the in 50s, the 50s she's, tra she's time traveling. Back in Mefka, during the time of the revolution, the side walls and cafes are filled with the young people. I was on my way to see a new woman. Dude, I don't want to. She's cool, dude. Gabriel I kind of fuck with her. Until you came along, that is. I wasn't dreaming. I was there, Loman. It was there while you people were tearing each other apart over your petty little revolution. Okay. This is Gabriel Buenger. A strikingly handsome man looks straight at you. His head crowned with a wide brim. This man's got a hold over her. Even 50 years later. Yeah, sounds like my ex, dude. You know, I used to get pissed off. I would see TikToks of girls. <laughs> I see girls post these TikToks and be like, yeah, when you're at your wedding and uh, you know it's not that one ex or whatever. You know what I mean? But I get it now, dude. <laughs> I get it. Piece of shit behavior, but I get it. He was the biggest star of his day. <laughs> girls used to faint in the aisles of cinema whenever he came on the screen. And schoolboys used to memorize all his lines. Someone was. These aren't your memories, dude. She's unironically on the spice. She's actually having spice visions of other lives. They are someone's memories, boy. What difference does it make if it's me or not? Continue. They are beautiful. That is all that matters. Beautiful and true. And they will win. They are coming for this, you know? She seems to derive some bitter pleasure from this strange thought, as if the past would one day wipe the present away, like a tidal wave approaching. Dude, I like her. Why not, Harife? It's not like I have anything better to do in this hellhole. Diamonds. Really? Of course not. But with whatever stupid things they put in the lorry, I imagine. I quit concerning myself with that a long time ago. Besides, I don't drive the lorry for the cargo. 
If you know what I mean. She's just coming she right out with it. As if something narcotic is the real reason. Of course it does. What did you expect? Of course not. To truly understand the Boyadero, you need to listen to On the Western Plain. It's an old ballad about a young girl who falls in love with a daring Boyadero. He promised. Of course not. The Boyadero returns from the Western Plain, so the Boyadero strangles his beloved and throws her body in the Maghreb. Then he rides off, because the Western Plain is calling to him. The most beautiful. Mm -hmm. A true Boyadero needs a whole horizon. I knew she'd be into that shit. He can be tied down by man or woman. His beloved was selfish. She didn't, she know, didn't what know what it meant what to, it love mean, to love a boy, a boy. dado. I'm not gonna hold you, shut I'm a boy, a dado, dude. I ain't strangling nobody, though. Except when they ask me to. What if to truly love a boy, a dado is to float lifeless downstream? Hell yeah. She's just a distracted old woman. Come on, he thinks. She's not the lady driver. Yo, Kim, you really fucking with my police work, man. You hear that, low man? I don't think your partner likes you spending too much time with me. Nothing. I just don't think she... He's worried. But not for her. For you. Hmm. Ah. What is it about this woman? If she's not connected to anything? Oh, don't worry about me. Lomonosov's land, Udashnaya Zemlya, the Western Plain. A terrible cold comes over her, rattling her teeth. As she stares inward. Inward. Dude, the she has shivers too. Magistral. You for one a. Wait, she's the actually a spacing guild member. I'm not, I'm not crazy. I the think she's... I think there's the a lot of Dune part. references in this game. I'm not kidding. Like, she's looking inwards is the way to describe... Dude, I'm telling you. Irmao. I already am dust. Hell yeah. Did you just call me a lady, Harry? She clearly doesn't think she's a lady. Don't repeat it. I'm not that hater, Harry. I've gone too far from it all to remember what was. <laughs> Dude, she's the coolest like that, character. Pale me. driver. I'm only terrifying to small children and to those who used to know me. All right, word. Why are you scared of the people who used to know you? Because they can no longer recognize the person I once was. The big ones, the traps. There's no women in the middle of this time. You feel very cold suddenly. As if standing face to face with a terrifying adversary. Dude, who then is she? The feeling dissipates and all you see is an aging woman. What if she's gonna fucking kill me or something? I feel like I should... Oh, sin. Something in her is pulling towards some unknown rest state. She twitches like a sleep kick. I feel like I should leave. Yes, go. Enough jamboree. I need to go. This game, I know this game is good because I'm tolerating a lot of backtracking. Like, backtracking is like my number one thing in games. My number two things in games that I hate. Number two be uh, number one being games that make you do busy work just to pad out the the length of time, you know. Still here, stuck in this damn jam, my man. I don't want to talk about that. Man, I was hoping it isn't gonna be her. All I can say is, she isn't around here anymore. She isn't some evil drug trafficker, and I don't know where she is. When did she leave? Damn, I don't want to. Please just let it go. Whatever she did, it can't be that bad. She's we can't just let it. That's how it always is with you, isn't it? Yes, dude, just answer the question. It won't come to that. I don't believe you. She's got the darkness in her. That young person's darkness when you think it's all over. And you're looking for a way out. LMAO me. She shared this with you? Yes. Which is why I don't want to snitch on her. I heard the rumors. I saw the other drivers looking at me strange when we talked. And she told me too. She's, she's had a violent, violent life, life. still. But I wasn't man. afraid of her. More like for her. Damn. Did this violent life. Well, it looks like it did now. But we didn't talk about that. Fuck, man. Go grill someone else with these questions, okay? He's right. There are other options. Push Tommy and it will break his heart and his spirit. Don't expect you to be. Now is not the time to focus on feelings. 
You need that info, son. No, I like Tommy. You know Thank who I don't friend. like, though? <sighs> wow. Is welcome to Revachol. Him, I don't give a fuck about getting him in trouble. Where you at, Buster Brown? Hey, pal. Looking for something odd? I don't know what you're talking about. Listen up, fuckwits. You don't scare me. You cops don't run Revachol West. You don't run Martinez. You don't run your old bark. You mean la puta madre. The name resounds like a bell in the air. A dark gong. You get looks like the lieutenant has a plan. <laughs> yeah, him. Then I presume you are familiar with his peonies. W what is Kim cooking? Yeah, they're his little bitches. He's got them all over the unions. What is Kim cooking? Not just the unions. He has peonies everywhere. Some say he even has them in the RCM. Dirty fucking peonies who do anything for him. You're not peonies. You wouldn't be investigating a drug thing if you were. No, of course not. We are not peonies. But if we were... I'm letting Kim cook! Drivers were I'm letting Kim cook! Him, then it's not a hard job. It won't take a long time. It won't make Padre Madre angry. Padre is Madre is a crazy name. He's standing in the way, protecting this fucking thief. I'm not scared of you or the mob. I'm under the protection. You've seen that corpse in the ceramic armor there. Did his shitty little guild put? Nah, you wouldn't just leave him out there if you. The lieutenant turns and gives you a barely perceptible, perceptible nod. nod. I've softened him up as best I could. Now it's on you to finish the job. All right. For something odd. Men like this only respect two things. Strength, strength and, and fear. fear. Time to turn up the volume. Fuck him up. Oh, yes. Yes! You, I told you, I'm not gonna. Yes! There. His voice grows smaller as yours. Look, fuck you, man. It's Amlory down there. When did she go? I don't know. I don't even know her name. She just rules with the fleet and acts like a big shot. Now it's not a big deal for him anymore. This is how he saves face. Past the monument, down there. The green, the green temple. temple. Now a small temple by the monument. I'm not gonna leave him Looks alone. Like he got his adrenaline up too. I feel like if I was playing physical, I could just beat his ass. I want to hurt him. I want to. I really want to hurt him in literally a video game. I like have to say in a video game on instinct now. Whenever I say anything in real life too, like if I need to like do something to somebody, I can't not say in a video game. So it's convenient that it actually is in a video game. This is a Laurier. This green foul A to Z contempora is parked in the shadow of the ruins. This must be the one he told us about, unless he was lying. The glass on the side windows is tinted. It feels like you're peeking into someone's home residence. Inside, it's private. The door is locked. Use the pry bar to smash the window. I don't know how good it is, but this investigation has taken long enough. We can't afford it to take any longer. Oh my god. There's no way the pry bar... Hold on. I think the pry bar would be better if it's in my hand. This green found A yeah. to Z contempora is parked in the shadow of Give the me one room. W, please. Thank you. Raise the pry bar. A glint of light catching on the Save screen. fuck the police and the then smash it. <laughs> Release well your secrets, Laurie Cabin. <laughs> Welcome to Reva Shoal Window. <laughs> I don't think Kim will like that. I'm sorry, smash it apologetically. Yeah, I'll be sensitive and sweet to it. The window shatters and droplets of glass fly everywhere. Sato. He places his hand in the window like a common car thief the and smell opens of it. Cigarettes and perfume welcomes you. The cabin inside is plastered with old metallic drawer. Slides out. It's an issue of Petty Ferric from La It looks like an article ripped out. These formulas look oddly painful. The Yulen frequency system? I've never heard of that before. I the pull out toolbox slides back into his. These are movie posters featuring starlets from long. One of them particularly catches your eye. A centerfold. There's definitely perfume in the air. It's spicy, 
with a hint of amberette. What is the smell? The bitter air of the, the remnants of a sweet juniper scented perfume. Uh oh. Probably grenade number five. What's it like to hold the hand of somebody you love interlinked? Why do I know that perfume? Did my ex wife wear that perfume? The actress is draped in a sheath dress, one of her shoulders bared. The faded remains of an autograph run across the poster. A feeling of tenderness washes over you. A longing even, perhaps. A gentle, gentle tragedy. tragedy. Story of my life. Wait, doesn't she resemble someone you know? Yeah, I knew it, dude. But you can't put your finger Everywhere on Everywhere I go, exactly. dude. Everything I look at reminds me of her. Shout out, dude. The actresses dude. and the rear actor all smile you a warm goodbye. A radio transmitter is attached to the dashboard. And you wedge yourself under the steering wheel to get a better look. Seems like the few tools lying around here. A hammer, a pick, but one odd detail does catch your eye. Sandpaper? Another technique. Must be to offer some... The movie stars are still... Sp looks like the frequency dial is absent. Strange. There are so many radio stations saved here. Must be over for contacting an entire... Looks like we are dealing with an impressive organizational tool. Hmm. The nerve. Uh, doesn't look like it. It's it like a huge drug traffic yeah. operation. The smell of a thousand cigarettes, some dead actresses, and a rusty old toolbox under the. You close the rusty old. Great. I think we got everything. Oh, what? Hey, what's up, Kimmy? What's up, Kimberly? All right. We finished here. Let's quickly debrief and go over what we found, so we don't do it in front of the company rep. Honestly, I'm quite worried by what we've seen so far. The evidence seems to point to a rather extensive, extensive and well-organized operation. operation. Yeah, I'm yeah. especially intrigued by that radio transmitter, particularly the sheer number of stations it can connect. I'm not sure what the ULAN frequencies are all about, but they may hold some significance. Perhaps it's a better way to connect between fleets while avoiding frequency bleed, or maybe it's used to tap into our listening in on your calls between you and your station. We didn't find anything conclusive linking them to the smuggling operation. But somehow, I doubt that Evrard Claire would be oblivious to something mm, like this. Right this motherfucker, him. dude. My suggestion is, we use it against the Union in any way we can, to our own ends. It's a slippery ill, but we just might be able to pin them down, indirectly. Down, down the road. We okay. should return to the murder case. See what Joyce tells us about the lynching. When we are done for the day, there are right, more word. than enough grounds to start an official investigation. The fact that one hasn't started already gives me pause. An investigation, I mean. Mm, they Especially might be connected the to the cops. Is involved, and I, all the same, I don't like the idea of internal affairs descending on the matter. That as elegant as they are, <laughs> I don't think Kim, they're relevant dude. to the drug. Kim has an eye for art. Dude, I fuck with Kim so heavy. Don't be fooled. Desire always plays a role. Debrief over. After you. All right, let's go see Joycey Poo. Joycey Woycey. Hey, officer, got a minute. What's up, old boy? I uh, saw you poking around in Lady Driver's lorry. She in trouble? Nah, no trouble, man. Oh, man, that's like a load off my mind. All that stress was messing up my rhymes. What's the plan with those rhymes, oh, you know, man? Tommy Leham's going to be a musician. Sprech song. But with beats. I've got a lot of free time on the road to hone my craft. Why Tommy Lam? Tommy Lam was taken. My real <laughs> name's Jerry Lafitte. Tommy's way better. Tommy's better than Jerry? Yeah, probably. Small him. Understandable. Good luck, Tommy. Yeah, you too. Be safe, detective. Aye, old boy. He's got these tattoos as well. I fuck with Tommy Lam. Fuck with Tommy Lam. Pretty heavy. Wee wee. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off. What color? I'm gonna hold off on getting those signatures for Everard Claire until I have more info that I can like maybe like force him. Cause I I don't want to just like bend to his will. I really don't fuck with him. I really dislike him. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? Oh, Joyce. Yes, my eyes on the harbor have sent word to that effect. What have you discovered? It doesn't really matter. And I, in any case, is a. The lieutenant is about to interject. Cut him off. This decision should be yours. Now I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let Kim cook. If there is an investigation, it will be part of an ongoing operation, subject to confidentiality. I'm sure you. I'm always let Kim cook. Of course, detectives. 
Let Kim cook. LKC, dude. I trust you with the rest. Now it's my turn. Alright, old girl, what's up? I wouldn't normally break protocol like this, but the situation demands it. If you don't solve this murder, I'm afraid we may have a bloodbath on our hands. For sure. The words bloodbath sound cold in her mouth. They taste of iron and strawberries. I have an indirect role to play, I'm sad to say. My employer experienced a momentary lapse of faith in me. In that moment, they elected to deploy a private military contractor as an insurance measure. Uh, so they this started that. Is it, it so that he was with her? They were dispatched after I relayed the union's initial offer. Every worker. A member of the board. I tried to convince my employer it was simply a piece of. Absolutely not. These mercenaries. Who are they exactly? Cronell, an Oranese military company. As far as I know, three arrived in Martinez. They report to me sporadically, but they do not answer to me. They wear ceramic armor, have semi-automatic huh. weapons, and years of combat experience. They also have trauma and stressor disorder, and no idea how to conduct themselves in an mm. urban civilian environment. So he got rowdy and they hung him. So what happened? So he worked for her company. The story is, one of them, the colonel, I don't know his real name, sexually mm. assaulted a local woman while he was drunk and separated from his unit. This allowed some of the more militant union members to subdue him. He was taken out behind the whirling in rags. Nothing. Mr. Clare refuses to let me into the harbor. I have not been able to do It's a smokescreen. In secret, they are conducting an independent military tribunal into the lynching. Hmm. Once- What is the nature of the- Whether to execute one, some, or all of the union militants. Hmm. So this is like a fucked up, like, it's, a, it's about to burst. Like, this situation is much more serious. It'll be all of them. The decision is already. <laughs> I have to say, this is not disco. But yeah, let's let's Surely team up. you're joking. These people are killers. If you don't pin this on someone good and do it fast, they they would have to. The debarder have over two thousand men. Have you ever seen a hornet invade a beehive, Lieutenant? It's not pretty. These men work in tandem using semi and fully automatic firearms. Their armor is virtually impenetrable to muzzle-loaded weapons, even yours. As I said, a bloodbath. Many bleak scenarios have already come true. Nameless, badgeless detective of the citizens' militia. Mm. All we can do is keep the rest from going the same way. One single concrete suspect delivered into civil court, and I may be able to defuse this situation. What did you know about you mean, him? did I see him alive? Lely, his service name. A nom de guerre, most likely. He was 40. Indeed. This matches the dental reconstruction with... He was, uh, occidental, I think. Light brown hair, a mixed accent. Or a knee. In a way, it was humanizing. He had to learn to speak through it. Through the injury. Mm. That's all I know, I guess. I own not much. Their public resume is relatively good. Down a deep black well. They boast a long list of clients, Saint Baptiste. Meaning they're used to operating in. Yes. All the good conflict corridors. Sadly, no. Before this happened, if you still have access to the ICP's database. Do you know a lot about the. In my line of work, it pays to do. I have. And they will. However, these orders take time to reach what is basically a rogue unit out hmm. in the field here. And they've gone to ground, as it were. I don't recommend seeking them out. They don't have the same respect for the Revachol citizens' militia as I do. Vigilantes. You're a professional officer. You're likely to run into them eventually. When that happens, I'll be in a better position to mediate if I don't Watch this fail. One is My God. the scab leader. The other has a vantage point in a building south of the ramp. Okay, yeah, so the they scab leader is not supposed to be there. He's a, he's one of the militia. That may be so. I still have... For all your talk of averting this catastrophe... Of course it bothers me, Lieutenant. But my hands are tied. How would my... Imp your concern may be appearances. Ours is keeping the peace. That would afford a good vantage point. Where is your radio? Heavens no. I'm not an un... I hope I can answer it better. Yes. 
I'm a Since you are sharing that, then we're on the same page, as grim as it may be. Until the executions start. Truthfully, they don't report their pro Not on this matter. Five days, not more. Five Maybe days? Soon. I thought it was okay. I thought it was like ten or twenty days. It's a matter of days, not weeks. Five days? Fuck, dude. Or he didn't. This is information passed on to me from some teeny that the man was killed because he assaulted a local woman. The lieutenant consult. Odd. We haven't heard any reports about an assault. Last Sunday night, at the Whirling and Either way, he's alleged. That's a good question, officer. I don't have the slightest idea. I hope it's not Sylvia. As I, I hope said, it's not anybody. It's a rumor but... about a... You meet her soon enough, you feel. Okay. I am sorry to have been the bearer of bad news. Okay, what about the... else I can help you with... The tattoos. Of course. Excuse my... For about half... It was taken with a trigger not long ago. This is... Her mouth is relaxed. The accordion lines near her mouth vanish. Uh, sorry. I was trying to see if I can read... I can't. But that's how you read this story. The points themselves don't have letters, numbers, anything. Their size, location, close. Port cities. This is an Oranese map of the waterways. A sailor's tattoo worn by wayfarers of the Dolorean mm, century. That's cool. Over 300 years ago. The sailor... Quite a few. What next? Then he made his way to the Preto Grangi. Through what? Revachol. Those are the two constants. Redefort on the shoulder and Revachol in the heart. They start... You said you can't... I can't. This man was no sailor. And these are no ports. I can understand geographic... Somewhere in an office lit by a single green desk lamp, Captain Ptolemyus Price, 58, bald and bespeckled, is writing in a ledger on his... In Martinez, looking into Grenoble, he writes in one. Then the man puts down... That makes sense to me. We have no... The sailors... So Where is he now? That is precisely... What the sailors feared when they drew these maps. A fear of drowning within one his platoon members? Challenge accepted. I say we do it. Do what you have to do, detective. I don't think just We will be careful, ma'am. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, that's all. I said I wanted to do a uh at one day per video and somebody in the comments was like yeah you're smoking cock dude and you know what i get it now sort of kind of i'm like you know what yeah i might have been smoking cock that guy might have been might have not been lying what up what up baby what's unbelievable let me handle this detective disorientated are you still wondering where you are this is martinez in case you've forgotten I advise you not to overstay your welcome. No, I am not a gardener. I'm a legal counselor for the doctor. No, Elizabeth, I liked you. So let's get to it. You're looking for Titus Hardy? You think that's Titus? Talk to him, but know this. I'll be keeping an eye on you. It doesn't matter if you recognize our authority. We will. She says nothing. Her glare speaks for her. What you want is of no significance. I saw what you were thinking. You want to say, what are you going to do to me? Don't. Just because it's in your head doesn't mean you have to say it. I'll talk to Titus. I'll talk to Titus. Let's save. It's got to be Titus. Oh boy, right here. This is where you say your bed. Yep, it is. He's used to giving orders and having them obeyed immediately. You should not indulge him. I'll indulge Detective. him. Precinct 57th finest scans the room, leaving the speaking to you. He tried. Oh, this is about him. Uh you sure took your time, huh? Waited for him to get. He looks the Titus for approval is crazy. Boy, yeah. yeah. Oh, he was a real pretty boy. Hanging up there, letting out that pretty boy smell. <laughs> Why are, why are all tough guys end up being a tiny bit homoerotic? I can't for the life of me understand why you did it. I mean, 
Ow. You might want to start asking your questions. These guys are so macho, they're ready to confess to first-degree murder. Ask if it was them. No, no, no. Oz here. The boys are too eager to plead. Yeah! You fuck with- Relax, Dennis. No one is fucking you yet. Yeah, Dennis, calm down. Let Dennis enjoy his fucking, man. <laughs> we don't mind. Yeah, <laughs> you're not even being fucked, Dennis. Easy, fellas. We got- Too late. You already scanned the room. You got a pretty good picture. Of the actors here, you could take another look at the tracks in the mud on the crime scene. Compare it to these guys. Yeah, let's go do it. Let's go do that. Let's go take a look at the tracks. I want to handle these guys with like pretty... I, I don't know, I just get the sense what color that I should handle them with like... What's up? Was that? Could it be? The <laughs> Col de Mama Dacqua? Listen! No, there seems to be an extremely high-pitched... Honestly, your ear isn't hearing a whole lot. There it is again. It must be very close. What are you doing? Oh no. The set no. Too late. It's gone. Keep your ears peeled then. If the species really has migrated to Martinet. I'm gonna find the cold de Mama Dakwa. Let's take a look at the booties and see if they uh, remind me at all of uh, our, our boys here. There are several footprints in the mud left by work boots. Anywhere from six to twelve pairs have walked here. Don't I have something that improves my visual calculus? Damn, I don't have anything that improves my visual I thought I had some glasses. There are several footprints in the mud. Left eight pairs of boots have shuffled back and forth in the mud. Where else have we seen a gang of men in work boots? That's right. One, standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 42. Standard work boot. Three, hobnailed work boot. Four. Standard work boot. Wait, are boys like a legitimate like Sherlock type? Theo. Damn. Old I was gonna say, you how smart actually is he when he's not cash. like drowning Sorry. in alcohol and drugs? Me too, dude. You used to have an eidetic memory, Chad. I used to I used to read a book every two days. Then the trauma kicked in. You know how it is. Five. Another standard work boot. Six. Light as air. Same seven. The glowing outline of a standard work boot. Eight. Another standard work boot. Number 44. There's an aberration. Seven sets of tracks, right? That's all? Interesting. A leader like Titus doesn't let one of his guys out of sight easily, especially at a time like this. I'm guessing that's the skinny hardy boy. I could still be wrong, but I'm 200. He might be right. 200 kilograms of living weight is unlikely. He was carrying the victim? Probably, yes. Is there anything else that's not worth you here? Interesting. Let's name it the... Oh, this one's easy. Way too easy. It's a driver. The sandpaper. The sandpaper on her pedal would have made one of the boots smooth. She is working with the union. With a piece of sandpaper glued to the throttle. Which means that the missing lady driver was also present at the lynching? That's it. She's the old soul. Now we know who's the missing eighth person at the lynching. Do you think that Hardy and his boys could also be involved in the drug operation? Understood. We should still go and see what Titus Hardy has got to say on the matter. A week, maybe? Seven days would fit the time frame provided to us. It is not impossible. I pulled last week's forecast for coastal Havashal. Seven days below freezing. The day before. The day Correct. Again. Sub-zero temperatures would preserve the tracks in a good mm. state. What do I think? A mob of people brought something heavy to the tree. One of them was carrying the victim. They shot him they and then him hung him. Especially under the tree. Then, after hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. At first glance, this appears to be a lynching. Indeed. They all stood in a row here and looked at the tree. But we know the victim had a bullet in his head. A more precise... Body tracks? Yes. 
All right, it feels dangerous though. What color? But I want to gather as much like evidence and like whatever as I can just to make I'm I'm sure there's going to be some checks coming up. And I'd really like to avoid fighting Mr. Hardy. Looks like the circus left town, but the clowns are still here. All right, Titus. What are you talking about, Madman? There's or what? You want to be the eight? Actually, boss, we've been talking, and we think she could maybe. This guy just ratted himself out, Glenn. This person, Glenn, wants to hire. He really respects her. Shut the fuck up, Glenn. So let me get this straight. There is an ace hardy boy. It's a it's she. A she and you don't, you don't like, like us talking, talking about, about her. That's Correct. right. We're not talking about. You're not cops here. Don't. Good. We are all watching each other. There's no point in pushing it further. He thinks this is already a victory. We'll learn more about this eighth Hardy sooner or later. All right, the pretty boy you got funny, but my partner and I have a serious matter to discuss with you. Yeah, why are your boot prints all over the mm, scene? These boots, we all got a pair. We wore them then as he speaks, his fists contract, going through the pulling motion. He's again. about to try to punch me, savor him. Yeah. We did this together, all of us. God damn. No, these seven honest men have equally come forth. They told you what happened? They're playing to their considerable strength in numbers. Don't talk about arresting them. You'll only bring attention to your inability to do so. Dude, I, I know it's gonna be fucking nuts if I say what does the bullet in your head have to do with this? But wouldn't... Th I feel like that would just be shaky. Huh? There was a bullet in the dead man's brain. Makes the surprise go down easier. How the fuck do I know? Anyone could have shot him. He's tight lips suddenly. This line of questioning is over. Listen, I will shoot you. you. the cause of death already? Hanging. If there's any post-mortem trauma, it's your problem. This will not turn into a cross-examination. We called the shots Are you that deaf? night. There will be no singling anyone out. Do you think you could do that? Titus, keep addressing him. He wants everyone to know he's in charge. Yeah, Titus, who does call it? Titus, Titus, oh boy, Titus, Titus, alpha male Titus, right? What? Who does call the shots? You gonna let this little lady talk like this, Titus? <laughs> who do you fucking think does? Everard runs, the, he's not gonna be, he, he, mmm. If I say, if I say, you know what, Titus? But what if I say, your Everard is fucking with you. You keep him the fuck out of this. We have autonomy. When Titus Hardy says he runs the Hardy Boys, he means that in an administrative capacity. On that night, everyone acted as one man. Are you deaf? Do you think you could- Titus. Keep addressing him. He wants everyone. <laughs> Who do you fucking think does? You do. That's right, ass. I <laughs> think you got. No, you did not get an answer. Titus does administrative work. He pushes paper, fills out forms. The others can't read. You don't have to keep an. I know, Lizzie. Relax. We killed him last Sunday night. Seemed like a good way to end the week. Well, now I feel like they didn't kill him. I feel like somebody killed him. Maybe Everard. Somebody killed him and they're all covering for it because you can't really do shit to all of them. Known him? We don't associate. Yeah. Quiet. He came around about three weeks ago when that Pines cow first sailed into town. Happy? By the Pines cow, you mean Joyce Messier? No. I mean the Pines cow. The stupid ass. This is where he tries to sow discord between you two. Because he knows the company is responsible. Why don't you ask her about the pretty boy? I'm sure she has interest. That's enough insinuation for today, Titus. Why? Because he was worthless mercenary scan. He stepped out of line. What kind of mercenary? The kind that shows up when you start a strike. The experienced kind, too. Had a live grenade. Right here in our... This one has a special gripe with him. I can't prove it. 
But I know he was sent by the Wild Pines. They hire merc shit like... Cause one night, he walked straight up to the mic and said, I'm R&E's goddamn special forces! Really? Yeah, really. Had a gin and tonic up there, sang some R&E's paratrooper song, and said he's gonna... My boy is really snitching. We couldn't believe it either. But he fucking did. Right there. Like... Wrong. He harassed women. Raped one. Harassed work. There's a slight unease in him, suddenly. He regrets mentioning the rape. Mm. To kill us all. If we don't open the gates. If we don't let the scabs in. Yeah. He said it was his favorite joint now. Started to come in here every night. He grabbed someone? Yeah. This girl's on the mic. A beautiful girl. Young. Gets into the second verse. Show me your cunt. Why don't you show me your cunt? Aren't you fucking listening? Yeah. Me and Eugene got her out. Aren't no. You're not getting a name. There's nothing you can do for now. He's stonewalling. Stone okay, how did you kill him? We hanged him up by his neck. Didn't they teach you? You're pretty sure you've had at least two years of cop. Certainly enough to not put up with this back sass. Deliver a knockdown observation. Yeah. Titus. We overpowered him. Dragged his unconscious body to the... Then we left him for seagulls, maggots, and you fucks. With numbers, asshole. No, he hasn't. Not yet. Won't you fucking listen? Titus lets the others clear out the details, so he doesn't get... Like what, copper? Nothing. Your investigation... I think we're going to stick around. Thanks. I've done this job for long enough to know... Good luck with that. rent cop So that's what this is about. He doesn't see you as his equals. Okay. Authority and composure. I think I have two skill points. Let's level this up to composure. Intimidate the public and assert yourself. Okay. Is actually is this psyche? Okay, so I'm gonna also do the drugs, I think. So I've done that. Give me give me some psyche. Whoa, in your hand, Parolidon, the double, what a funny little cat. Don't let the scary, ma the container is warm to the touch. Or is that just, you suck a manly dose of the extremely chemical smelling liquid into your mouth. So I'm like pretty fucking juiced up now. I should be pretty fucking like keyed up now. All right, Looks where we like at? the circus left town, but the clowns are still here. Come on. As you look right. around this room full of sweaty men, swearing, drinking, spitting out tobacco, you believe the place was called Precinct 41. It was also filled with, you seen Apricot, old Purdue's daughter, asked Lieutenant McCoy. Uh-huh, replies Torson, the ass on that one. McCoy shakes his head in appreciation. Huh? You got a problem with- Not quite there yet. Push on. I'm also a big fan of beer and also jerking off. You're saying we don't help people. They don't know, man. Congratulations on the graffito. So what? Don't let him drink that. One more. Just don't antagonize him. You have this already. Titan. She needs help, right? She stops mid-sentence. That's it. You got him. He's... You want to help her, cop? If you don't. If you question... Her. Oh Arrest no, is her. it the girl on the balcony? What is her name? Glacia. I'm on Ju. She's staying here at the oh. rags. A real pretty one. Shit. The girl. The girl upstairs? Oh, it's her! It's definitely her! It's Miss Oranje Disco Dancer! Come on. You inexplicably oh, okay. add cool after the victim's name, but no one notices. Your spine is too damn strong. Whatever you do, do not tell him you know her. That would sound off. I know her. He knows her? How well do you know her? Holy, dude, I'm so glad I didn't try to talk to her or flirt with her because I feel like that would have been... Because I'm getting the sense that Titus is like into her. A small twitch in the corner of Kim's mouth. 
He has a hunch about what <laughs> Fucking Kim no Katsuragi, dude, means. this guy. Well enough, copper. We He tries to make it sound real ca You mean Revishal? Nah. Don't you give her any more trouble. Shut up, Angie. Titus, what's with all the silences? It's like- And what was up with the party and she and Titus did? It sounded fun. What do you think I meant? Yes. Yes. No, we just fucked. That's all. I'm a- He really went out of his way to seem comfortable with this topic. That's all you're gonna get for now. Hmm. Relationship? There was no- Something is off here. His anger, anger is, is possessive. possessive. It was like that karaoke incident. Titus oh, killed her because. Oh, like some of the. Okay, enough. No, shut up, Elizabeth. All of this is irrelevant to your. He did it before we killed him. He's not gonna do it again. So what? It would help if we. St All right. Two weeks. Here you go, boss. All right. Remember what I said. Freight train of pain. Oh. So you went and t And what's gonna happen if we don't? You gonna go and tell on us? Yeah, yeah. I heard him. Let me state this. Explosive laughter follows. To his men, Titus, Titus is a golden god. god. They want to laugh at his jokes even before they leave his lips. Dude, they want to suck Titus off god. so bad. You still on about that bullet? A bullet in a hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Indeed. Mighty. How did it get there? Well, there are so many bullets. <sighs> it's bound to happen again, you know? Show them Just the bullet? Statistically speaking, of course. Wow. He's got it in Why don't you go home and log it into evidence? Shut up, Elizabeth. These men have told you what happened. Just fucking, let's say it. You know what I think? What's up? I think he was shot in the head as a kid. Around the bullet, man. That's a good one. They're only pretending to enjoy this. Beneath you guys the shoot act, him? The Shit! I probably did shoot him. I was drunk last night. You- Yeah, Glenn likes to shoot- No, he meant before he was hanged. Before? After? During? This is- Never been worried in my life. Alright, pal. I'm gonna take off now. All right, let's go talk to a little girl. Dude, I feel like a real detective, man. I'm really detecting shit. The door is closed. Who is it? This is the police. Can we come in? Come on up. The door is open. Sounds like it's coming from up. Room has sat all over it. Reminds me of my own. Hell yeah. This medicine cabinet is full. Pharmaceuticals line the shelves. Sheet upon sheet of pill bottle. Pill bottles rattle like bones as you search the cabinet. An opioid receptor antagonist. It's used for diamorphine overdoses. Anything of note? Among some foreign, probably Mycenaean or mm. Godvaldian. There's no way I fail this check, right, Chax? You find. Fail. What a bright orange Let's bottle go. with preptide stamped on it. In sunny, happy letters. Jackpot, baby. That's the stuff you're looking for. Your palms begin to sweat just holding that little plastic. You want to know what's really fucking crazy? My heart rate just increased and my palms just got sweaty at the thought of stealing some pills. Oh, to be a teenager stealing mom's pain meds yet again. <sighs> Even? Give me this. Wow! So, the bottle slides into your... Feels so sleek and beautiful. You got it. Here comes the afterburner. All right, I've got some drugs. What does it do? Plus one motorics. Motorics are like composure, the yellow stuff, right? Yeah, yeah hand eye perception. I'm going to keep it on hand. I just feel like it could be useful to use drugs and shit, you know? Someone watching me behind the glass door, a woman. Hold coffee in an ashtray that looks like a hedgehog. Shout out Sonic. Welcome to the roof. Her hair is still slick. Below her silvery jumpsuit, an athletic young- I'm sorry for the mess down there. The cleaning lady hasn't come by in days. I'm beginning to wonder if she ever will. Oh yes, legends of room number one have made their way around the building. <laughs> they say a portal to hell has opened in there. Disco Infernum. I'll just say some weird shit, because I do be saying weird shit in real life. 
A third place? Interesting. She quit? I am, quit. I am a detective from prison. This does not come as good news to him. Have I ever? Have you grown accustomed to- Oh yeah. Feel the power. I have very little idea what I'm doing, doing, babe. just fine. After all, your path has led you back to me. Miss, we are investigating the- Ah, huh. I see. Be careful. Ask something else first. When you go there, no need to dilly-dally. She's tough. I'll dilly-dally. You sound like a na- Coach physical instrument is overdoing it. Even by my standards. Say something else first. I- Okay. I'm projecting here. I have been through this. What can I say? I was a very cute kid. And I don't like when people are trying to talk to me about it, like therapists and shit, and they dilly-dally. I'm just going to go straight to the point. Something difficult? By sexually assaulted, you mean raped? Yes. It's a bit early in the morning. For she sounds positively buoyant. Yeah, I'm going to go with not raped. I can't say that mm. stuff about him. Tell them it's not my style. They'll have to, you know, if they want to jazz up the charges, they'll have to get someone more... Uh, so it didn't happen? Rapable. Are you saying that you were asked to tell us you were assaulted? Not explicitly, but I understood what they meant. It wouldn't hurt to spice things up a bit. Some assault and battery. Sexual assault, maybe. It was clear so the latter would be So why spicier. did they kill the man then? Pretty much. Warming them. We partied. With all due respect, sir, I think we partied a little harder than that. Oh, it is. What did you do? We drank, sir. A lot. For weeks, basically. We had that effect. What else? Stimulants. Hmm. Speed also has that effect. Making you drink harder. Were feelings involved? A little. The drugs were good enough and... How did mm. you do? Is Titus... Okay. There's no way Titus killed this guy because she slept with him and he was jealous, right? We'll call her. Dude, I'm like very intrigued actually. Downstairs. At the bar. He was on some sort of assignment. Uh, a military man, as you probably know. Had a cool scary scar. She appears aloof. But that scar part, the scary, scary is stressed and drawn out with longing. She misses him. Titus! When was this? Titus got cooked! A month ago? Something like that. Oh, yes. I've had a great view. From the roof, mm. out of the bathroom window, in my dreams. That's tough. And she's probably hostage here. They probably won't let her leave. A bitter cringe. It hurts. You look to the... It takes a small step closer. You called us. You yes. Yo, this game... I'm t Yo, this game... Yo, this game, boys? I made it. And I would appreciate it if you didn't tell everyone. I won't, baby. Don't worry. Reporting crimes is confidential in Revachol, miss. I didn't exactly disguise it. I just... With nail clippers. And I diverted some mm. radio fun into it. Which landline? The one downstairs, officer. I don't know, sir. It was stupid. I was drunk, too. Thank you for making the call, miss. I didn't want to, sir. But if I hadn't, you'd still be hanging there. What do they hang him for? He had something to do with the strike. One has been roiling since- And his role- I think he was in a security detail. He was ex-military. Worked for Wild Pines. And they lynched him? She nods. Why was there a bullet in the hole? Bullet? They shot him too? They shot him before, babe. They stripped him. You mean after they hanged him? I'm confused. So am I. Were you- Things are starting to go a little over my head here. I thought he was hanged. I was not present when they did it. I don't know what happened. I just know what they told me. Sylvie! Sylvie oh, well, Sylvie him. did say she didn't want to snitch. It's hard to know what to think about. She's just tired. Don't push her too much. They're frequent guests downstairs. They have a booth for union members. They're probably down there now. Over drinks. It's been a long, boring winter. A little, yeah. 
Like you parted with the dis- No, not as hard. I'm sorry to have to ask this. I have. Which ones, sir? Mm. I don't remember precisely. Could that have been part of the reason they hanged him? I hope not. Actually, I know that's, that's not, not the reason. reason. I'm careful about that kind of thing. Men like that? I don't know. It's the way their imaginations work. I suspect it's what they'd like hmm. to do. She changes balance from one foot to another, crossing her legs. Mm. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Not right now. Later, maybe. I keep seeing him. I know it's difficult. She meant she sees him in her dreams. You pissed it all away. All of it. Elysium. I don't want to ask this, but... I'm 89% sure. You know how it is. Do you? How is it then? Hmm. Maybe you don't know. There are numerous cigarette burns on those silvery scales. In conclusion, officer, I'm gonna go with a mild to medium not raped here. All right. She takes a look. You hear cracking in her shoulders. She breathes a silvery sigh of... Should we head by downstairs, officer? As he says so, you feel the young woman looking at you and get a feeling you can't quite put your finger on. A suspicion? She nods. Silvery cigarette fumes disappear into her mouth. Why not? I'll be here until... Alright. What's up, Kimmy? Looks like we have more to discuss with those so-called hardy boys. Nothing will make them respect the RCM, but it will disrupt the game they prepared for us. Okay. Let's go. I don't want to. I don't want to tell them that. Th Dude, I can people die in this game? Because I wouldn't put it past them at all to kill her. This window is pristine on the inside, unlike the one next to it. Light, smooth as ice. There are spots of mud and the rain window is the outside, brand new. following your lead. The lieutenant looks like it. Yes. You know which window has not been recently replaced? Yes, that one. Stop distracting him. He has work to do. Plus, shout out I to record, my necktie, dude. The window has been giving him shit ever since he. This just got like very, very interesting to me. It's like, it. I'm glad that the what color that the mystery aspect of the game, the who done it is is actually compelling. Also, you know, because it would be enough for this to be like, for the mystery aspect of the game to be like a a boring little side thing. It would be enough for the mystery to be a boring little side thing and just have this be a character exploration of Harry here. Um, but no, both aspects are good and I really appreciate that. The clowns are still hanging around. Hey, old what buddy. Now? Again? Seriously, man. Fine. Yeah, what a Fuck. I knew that fucking whore couldn't be trusted. You've hit a nerve. Titus is furious. No. For the record? Titus Hardy did not explicitly specify. Oh, shut up and stay out. Shut up, Liz. She's just in denial, asshole. You don't understand. Yeah, she's crazy. You know, a crazy bitch. Lawman, I'm at the end of my. His hands become fists, and you went and. Titus Hardy. Success. Type goddamn. No one tells you to. Ever at personally sent me to take care of this if this the room is so quiet you could hear a pin Titus the rest of the cafeteria You're ti me personally too. I wouldn't just take that Titus me personally go get him I would not just le leave that alone someone has to rush in to break the tension the second in command look copper we know that that fuck was a rapist and show it to him T here jerkwad listen to this shit and then come back and tell me the soldier of the apocalypse was an innocent man. You don't care about it. Fix thee. I won't be on your bullet. What's on it? We call it the door gun, a mega mix. You know why. You think we go into this shit? We have machines. We're in logistics. How do you think a harbor works? Understood. You've listened in on their since way before. Things got nice and quiet after that. It's not advanced. You just hold up in a coop all day, writing down what they say. 
Don't put yourself down, Angus. Yeah, man. You're like a radio genius or something. I'm sure we can find a tape player. Where can I listen to this? What? Yeah, play it with your ass. All right, all right, boys. All right, boys. Player. Your room had one. Oh, maybe it's too bright. Don't forget your tape, lawman. Compliments are tied as hard. You do that. Oh, and keep it. Maybe you'll need a reminder of human ugliness someday. Yeah. You do that, Lao man. I don't want to warn him about the mercs, because I, I definitely want the mercs to come get his ass. Alright, going to my room. Tape recorder. The compact tape player. This would have been very helpful with the Mega Mix. My kinema only comes with radio. Let's try. Alright, the pawn shop. I do want to go to the pawn shop anyway. I want to try to sell that gun. I gotta go there anyway, so let's go see old boy. I gotta make Kim buy the fucking radio because Kim has like a hundred and something real just chilling. All right, let's go to the pawn shop. What's up, old boy? Hello, hello. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Someone else came here earlier today asking the same question. I promptly sold her the gun you pawned a couple days back. Elizabeth has my gun. What? Sold? Did I sell my fucking gun for, for booze and shit? The lieutenant shifts from one foot to another. Alert. You... We've came here too. That just... You were adamant about getting rid of it, officer. And I don't like it. He's not telling you the whole story. It's... You weren't quiet. You were very distraught. You said the gun was a threat to your life and... That you can't trust yourself with it tonight. And that you need the money. When I said that I don't normally buy firearms, you put the- You sucked on a gun. Very normal behavior. You must have been in great shape. Fifteen real. Fifteen real for a gun? The lieutenant looks from you to Roy. And then, this has got- to There's pity there too. In case you didn't notice. No apologies necessary, officer. Dude, I just got I I just got this steam. <laughs> it said literally the sorriest sorriest cop on earth. Apologize ten times. <laughs> I do apologize a lot in real life, man. I'm always apologizing for shit. Even when I didn't do anything, I'm always apologizing. Like every time I'm with a girl or whatever, she's like, you know you apologize a lot, you know. It is what it is. She didn't seem like a policeman. Although she kept referring to herself as a pig. Truth be told. Right, so let me get this right. It was the your sidearm issued by the citizens. Militia, it was the it was the, the scary lady around the streets of Martin. Miraculously, his face does not reveal what's happening inside. You're right that she could cast aspersions on the force. We have to find out. Maybe. Shady looking guys came in here yesterday. Okay. Looking like they've just taken off their wild pines overalls. Wild pines. They asked if I have a police weapon to sell. They went their way. Was it fucking it Joyce was Messier? But you know, all sorts of. Maybe Claire really is tracking down your gun. Hmm. My apologies, of A needle in a haystack. There is nothing you can right, whatever. do about. Whatever. Of course. So now I really don't have to deal with Everett Claire's bullshit. A tape. We have boom boxes for sale that will play it. Check the shelves. The boom box is on the shelf. There it is. One especially catches your This is you. Just make sure it works before you buy it. Sorry, man. I can't be giving out freebies. Absolutely. I've tested each one myself with recording. I don't it's think so. Harmon Welsh W2. Kim! Designed in Seoul. Plays all real to real format. Two millimeter. A discount. Just don't ask him for the smallest amount. You'll insult him. The others will work. Sounds like a ripoff, but okay. I can make it ten. Right, I'll spend the ten. But no I, lower. I should and be able here to... you are. Quality sound reaper. The porter reel is just what you needed. The you push. Come on, set. This isn't Revishar. This is a fucking village. I can almost see the elephants. Is this the guy that was hung? The harbor. That's the son of a Kvalsund crane. When this shit is done, I'm gonna tear that place up. Soldier of the Apocalypse style. K 
kill shit. Dogs and chickens, too. Okay, pal. Gonna run a room, Cordy. A real nice room. I'll fucking do them all in. Rape that disco cunt on the counter. You know, that never did get that taste out of my mouth. The lieutenant presses the button marked Arete on your portaria. The tape stops spinning. End of recording. It seemed authentic enough. Probably recorded off the shortwave, then edited to seem mm -hmm. more incriminating. He sounded like he was on patrol around the harbor walls. Still. There's more going on here than we know. One of the other mercenaries, I think. The one he was talking to. A friend of his? A village on the Samaran Isola, in South Safra. Who knows? Maybe I think we've got a few more questions for class here, don't you? Okay. To... As you take out the tape, the boombox tunes. The contrast feels chilly. In a. All right. Let's go talk to Classier again. That's a nice name too. Oh my god, I like how everybody in this game is so like morally ambiguous and just like shady. Naturally, like just real people are. There's a lot of nuance and shit to this game, man. I gotta tell you. Hey, Classia. Officer. It's a fine day for questions. Not my favorite topic, but okay. How about we, you know, change the subject to something more lighthearted? She puts her coffee with a soft ring. This does not so Did he? I never said he was a good man. Or that he had good intentions. Um, where it's intercepted radio chatter of the deceased. Does he say he's gonna do it soldier of the apocalypse style? Oh my god. The phrase was used. Yeah. That was practically his pickup line. A memory surfaces in her tired neocortex. What? Did he say whores a lot? Was he pretty much on the verge of doing it co holly style? He wasn't actually there. He didn't do a tour, or at least didn't tell me he did. Would have been overkill anyway. He lived his own little- Yes, was- Oh no, I'm pretty sure he did all those things. Then integrated them into his idea of normalcy. Coping mechanism? Until they just sort of turn into his, uh, Persona? running joke. Mm. I was gonna say running joke. And it sounds like he didn't even get the... He was like the Semenese conflict, the Kohoi massacre, and the 36 famine in Yezut all rolled into one person, then cast in Orani ceramic armor, hmm. which he wore in bed. And We're all scraping up any happiness we can find, officer. Going around with our little scouring sticks. You, your first love... Mr. Kohoi here. Yeah, my first love uh, slept with three of my friends, dude. One of them I considered my best friend. I'm not, uh... I'm not going around with no... Actually, you know what? Here I am, however many years later, still talking about it, still mad about it, so maybe she's right. Did he tell you he had actually done? No. We were too busy laying waste to our own nervous systems to... There is a small measure of pride in her. That's Thank you for clearing that up, miss. Whenever you're ready. I'm interested to hear what Titus Hardy has to say. She takes a very small sip of her coffee and smiles luck for his actually officer i didn't know his name lily i just called him lely a nickname i guess he came from lely stad it's short for mm. that lely stad that's a good we have a few questions you can help us with if the young woman cranes her neck trying to catch a glimpse the last missing pieces of a puzzle of flesh hmm in oranje Officer. You were almost right, officer. That means his race was occidental, not mondial. Her eyes follow you. She doesn't mind this questioning. On the contrary. He was 42. 42? Are you he had many scars that made him appear older. We even celebrated his birthday, like, some mm. weeks ago. It was a funny two We were slightly off then. Ta the adversary one. Blue. L light blue. They were like... Part in the swearing. I do him an injustice. He wasn't ugly. And he had a beautiful, soft... He had a combat wound? Damn, she really loved him. Month. Yes. Severe. Ah, oh, yes. It was light brown. Almost blonde. He'd... Oh. 
It's clear she liked it. Quite a lot, yes. Sure, service history. It How? <laughs> Imagine him lying in bed. Freakish musculature, late. He's smoking and drinking, of course. Hmm. And his chest and shoulders and arms. And the woman goes like, what was this, baby? <laughs> and he says, that was too hardcore. Don't ask me about that. So, and so it goes. Star. Oh, yeah. No, thank you. I've seen enough of him dead. I can tell you what. Go on. He was a blue-eyed boy with thick arms from a small town. He was mm. also poor, and the government of a... He went to Killer Academy in Vredefort. Then he killed some people in the Seminine Islands. And on other islands, too. All of the islands. Mm. Change of topic, perhaps? Did he enjoy his death? Why do you ask? Came to me in an occult vision. Wow. A mystic. How intriguing. I have no doubt this is all adequate and true. I do not doubt the sun. Maybe you're interpreting them wrong. He enjoyed life, you see. A little too much, if anything. Up to the point. Good for you. What do you think it will? I don't know how a semen sample works, officers. How many days after intercourse does it have to be? I don't hmm. even know if he had sex with someone else. Hmm. We didn't. All right. Coolly, gracefully, she pours herself more coffee. All right. Clausier Amondu. Where are you from? A bad memory, officer. It's the past. I'm 28. Hmm. Something stupid. Wanna hear what's stupid? Somewhere in a one-room apartment on Boogie Street, a young man shows oh, patrol. His partner, Emil Mullins, can't be there. He's warm, Mullins replies, because he's under the radiator. No, no. But I need literature. It's what I study. Fear of failure, fear of death. Mm. If that's true, then River Sholy and Lit would fit you. Fit me like a glove. Like Real as fuck. Nothing. I do nothing with it. Cool. I've made more money by just being. Many things. It's the world's most tough. Miss Aranya, now there is something you should linger on. Um, mm -hmm. I don't want. I kind of don't want to listen to electrochemistry when it comes to interacting with her literally uh, tastes like poison i'm afraid you can't. why is that because it's buried in a sealed plastic bag at an undisclosed location on the coast along with thank you for your candor i say so in your tourist brochure keep travel documents away from your person when west of the river hmm if i were to lie to you i would come up with a more main okie dokie if any of this made her nervous it certainly the record so official Mm-hmm. Okay. Wait. Stop. That man, bloated beyond all recognition, was 42. That's what she said. Below the damage. The weeks of decomposition. How old are you? That's where this is going. 45,000 liters of raw alcohol. How old am I? Disfigurements. Probably what in my 40s lies too. Beneath? You could ask either one of them. In my 30s, You're right? You're a rough rider. But not in your early thirties. Bring it on. To the laboratorium. Date birth, date of birth generator. What is this? Oh, is this the thought journal? That's some the thought cabinet. Somebody said to use this. It takes a while. I want to know how old I am. Talk to Titus. Okay. She says it wasn't shit. Fuck Titus. Go get him. God, it's seven a.m. Did I wake up at like two in the morning? In a cold sweat, dude. I'm either having a nightmare or I'm thinking about my ex. Help me out, chat. Seven. I don't know how long I've been playing for. Two and a half hours. The clowns are still hanging around. What, what is, is it now? now? Hey, she said that tape wasn't what you thought it was. What you got to say about that, old boy? And he tenses immediately. Chest tightens. That fucking fucker. You're the worst cops in Revishaw. I gave you gold on that tape. Dark. Dark is when you start a goddamn... What did she have to say then? Fine by her. This is what people are supposed to be... Yes. In fact, I think she thought it was a little funny. 
Hmm. Kim's cooking. Funny. 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 Goddamn psycho whore. Yo, I feel like he's gonna hurt her. Not gonna lie to you. All right. All fucking right. Please try to control yourself in the presence of. This is just perfect. Just fucking perfect. Women are crazy. Irrational. That's what you're thinking, right? Also, your fists are itching for a bump. I already told you. We fucking hanged him. There's less gusto in his voice now. Come on, Titus. We know you didn't hang him. Mm. He was... You know what? I... Next time you see... This is the petulant rage of someone who's at... Okay, so he's, he's tweaking out. How much health I got? Three? Mad lion scam. Yeah. On the floor, bear drips out of the can. What is this quiet funeral shit? Why don't we make it 40, huh? Why don't we make it 100 beers? You're not... 100 beers? Now we're talking. Hoppity hop over... The window might be closing. The more beers they get in them, the less cooperative they will be. This is... rhetoric? Okay. I need to do drugs. Check out these dubs. Convinced oh! He's being manipulated. You should know by now. Titus Hardy will never falter. Just remember, it's about more than Glazia. It's outside, in the midday sun. Ruins. The pavements are cracked, and the bench, bench is peeling. peeling. Newspapers, Newspapers blow, blow in the, the wind. wind. Huh? He'll get it. Go on. Got it. Kill you because they don't like you. All because. Because it's some chick, man. Bring that up one more time, and you won't get to run. The man's fists under the table are bald. Yes, I understand, Alain. That's your name, right? Alain? You'll kill us. That's what they do in the wild north. It wasn't that. It wasn't. We didn't we shoot didn't him. didn't shoot him. That's it. That's. Officer. You will be next if you don't shut up. Hey. He's onto you. He knows. Steal yourself. Push on. Just ignore Theo. Who's Angus? What's up with Kim? The lieutenant has put down his notebook. What? Go for it. The lieutenant has his eyes set on the fat guy. Push Angus. Push An we didn't kill him. We didn't even hang him. He was dead when. <laughs> was it Classia? Shut up, anger. Fatty! Say one more thing to the cop. Dennis, stand down, or I'll beat your head in. Theo. Does he? His closed fist is shaking. <sighs> Angie, where's your goddamn? I left it home. I can't get it. Why are you so fucking fat, Angus? You know, I really liked her too. Because of you. You wasted. Lizzie, your help is no longer needed. Fine. I'll tell him after a long walk along the coast. What's up, old boy? What just happened between these two? You're in. He's all yours. Questions. Hers? <gasps> Did he go after her? In a manner of speaking, we had help from another girl. It was her idea to hang him, and I liked it. The big guy turns the blonde, shuts his mouth. I'll see it again. All the Hardy Boys are right here, cop. The Hardy that Boys. just affiliated with the Hardy Boys. You don't know her, anyway. Nope. You're not getting to her. Not yet. Just some ideas. She says the shot came from outside, behind the window. Yeah, sure. You don't need my clues. He nods. You hang the corpse to cover up the real cause of death. The Another nod. Cause the girls asked us to. They were in some shit. The girls? Did she kill him? Cop, I have no idea. He doesn't think she did. Or at least... Class J came down. She seemed really out of it. Drugged up, even more than usual. Bug-eyed and gurning, you know? It looked like she'd redosed after something went down. I've seen that look before. She was... I've done this job for ten years. I've seen it before. It's the politician in the motel room with the dead hookers. Oh my god. Only in reverse. 
Good analogy, boss. You don't get to talk yet, Chink. We went upstairs. Sure as day the Merc was dead. There was a bullet hole through You tried the to pull some shit on yeah, her and he and she killed him. Dirty shit. Tibbs patched the window. And the corpse. We hanged. You may have noticed our girls in some shit of her own. They can't show up on police radar kind. There are people after her. They're powerful. Connected to the moral intern. And why would you help someone like that? By taking a Why would I? I guess we abide all sorts of runaways and losers here. It's, it's a Martin, Martin A's thing. thing. Nah, he's my brother. He's in. Right now, he's grateful he hasn't gotten his brother into this mess. Me too. The lieutenant gives a smile only you can see. You do that. Suddenly, the wind picks up outside. You hear it Is she gonna the jump, large dude? windows in their frames. It carries newspapers. She. Clausia came to Martinez to hide. Many of us did. This is where you wash up when there's nowhere. That's right. If we didn't take care of the people who... He's a good guy, is he? This place would just be a couple of ruins. We'll take that into account. Every time I think someone's an asshole, they're actually a good guy. And every time I think someone's a good guy, they're an asshole. Story of my fucking life, dude. Hey, Klausia. It's always good to see you. Something in her demeanor has changed. She's tired, consigned to her fate, to being here with you and what's to come. Just like me, for real. I understand. Just like that. No resistance. Her shoulders are slouched. Her I knew there was a chance you'd get them to tell you. It's for what it's worth. I'm sorry. If you knew, we would find out eventually. Because of the Hardys. I couldn't just dispense with them. Is she implying the Hardy Boys are the law? I am not. You're right. You answer to the coalition government, and by extension, the moral intern. Briefly glancing over her shoulder to the sea, as she, where the cold oceanic expanse lies, and behind it, another world. You share a database with them. You send people hmm. to their courts. Just business. But bad business for some people in the moral intern. What happens if they do? They will kill me, sir. If you file my name, take me in. Well, then I'm fucked. For nothing. This murder didn't have anything to do with me. What happened then? We were there. Together. In bed, I mean. Was it one of the snipers? Was it like one of the... Okay. He was in a kneeling position. He had just entered me. I was on my back, looking at him. I heard the window behind me shatter, and I turned to look. There was a hole in the glass. Yo, Joyce Messier, what the fuck you got I going on? I turned back to him. His eye- A great pain moves through her. A dark and indefinite wave. I knew he was dead. You were right. He did. Mm. Enjoy the moment of his death. He was heavy. I pushed him off and he fell to the floor. There. He only had his boots on. I bit the pill. I waited for the second shot to come. For She's forgotten about her cigarette. The butt has burned right down to her fingernails. Oh. So am I. What time was this? 11.30 to 12.15. It's okay. Were you inebriated? Not as much as usual. He'd done- Wait. Titus said she was gurning her jaw off much more than usual. Oh, yeah. I did one of his lines. Good thinking. Clear your head. Did you hear or see- No. Nothing. I was trapped. I was stuck in my room downstairs. He was still on the floor. Slouched. I couldn't be there with him anymore. So Run, woman. Run past them, and out into the streets where it's dark, and people move. To the lorries at the intersection, as far as you can. She pulls on the cigarette, looking up at the sky. Her hair ripples in the breeze, as she stands there, silent. Sylvie was tending the bar. A lot of people were there. The Hardys were at the table in front of the stage. I think the union box was full. 
Hmm. Ruby was there too. They were having such a good time. Ruby? Ruby. You know, the leader. Is that the girl, the, the lady driver? The leader? The Hardy Boys. Oh, dude, it's like every two minutes, there's like a what color. There's like a plot twist that like tweaks my brain. Dude, this game, man. Well, nominally, yes. Ruby's the one they go to when things happen, like things they need taken care of. This Ruby, in her phrasing, is entrusted. Well, Ruby said, let's talk upstairs. I'm sure she said she'd take care of this. That's what she does. You know. To produce lividity, matching a hanging. Yes. We completely missed the tampering. Looks like you got there in time. Oops. About 20, yes. Ruby explained it would make the blood. Ruby went outside to talk to Titus and the boys. I was just looking at Lely in the bathroom. I had to it took Ruby maybe half an hour. Ruby said to wait here. I don't know. I haven't seen her since. Make Titus give we up Ruby's need location? To take this question to the Hardy boys. It's not nice, but it's not illegal. What exactly? Industrial espionage. I joined a business collective with the intention of betraying them. With a bigger company. The kind you really... I need the names of the comp... The job was Lou's doing County Savings Bank. They sound small, but they're part of the Lou Scott conglomerate. But she really destroyed them. She still feels it. As to who hired me for the job, I don't know. But they're after me too. Along with Lou Scop and their friends in the MI. Sure. I'm a lot of people got hurt. That can wait. <sighs> Look into what did you do though? I... One of them killed themselves because of me. Okay. Not easy to How deal with. How do you deal with anything? It's all just... How do you do it? I just don't remember shit fuck, baby. That would do the trick, yes. Damn. The thing about not remembering anything, chat, is that sometimes it'll just come back to you and force itself to be remembered. Uh, and then it hurts 30,000 times over. When he was shot? I may have. I don't know. That's the first thing that went through my head. I thought they'd found me. They've killed him to so they wouldn't be hurt. I've come to understand, however, this is paranoia. What happened? We can't go after Lewis Cap. I don't ask you to, Lieutenant. But there's one thing I know, is that you'll last week. You should have another look at that window after this. Recon yes, you see the glass sparkling mm. out of the corner of your- Because I'm an idiot. Mm. Which is an indicator of truth. You have to understand, the people around here, no one hmm. was making the call, and he kept rotting. Fucking Kuno. Her jaw is clenched. He kept throwing stones at him for three days. Yeah, what I is Kuno's deal, thud. dude? Thud. So I called you. I hope with all my heart it's not the... She nods silently. Um... He's thinking. Or maybe you should take her to the station for safekeeping. She lied to you. And she's a flight risk. Officer. Fuck it, we'll just go for the three four seven. Fine day for questions. Yeah, you wanna see you wanna see really crazy dude? Sometimes the answer lies in the heart of battle. Sometimes the answer lies in the heart of the cards. Check me out. Success. But we are awake, sire. She has been forthcoming with so get a hold of yourself just once, will you? Try so you say. But give us one example of deceit. Just one example. Gosh, she's so young. Be careful not to look. It looks like this one's not waking up. You'll have to do it without pushing her further. At Let's go talk to Titus. Come on, damn Titus. Give me, give me some fucking talk, man. See you, man. Goddamn Titus. Just tell me something, man. To goddamn shit. It's you again. What is, what is it? it? Hey, man, I need the location of your little girly friend, man. I need mommy's location, Titus. Why? Sounds like you want to push this steaming... Ruby's one of us. And fuck you! Ruby is missing. If you hide from the police... That's nothing. That's just mm. legalese. 
I think will keep sticking around. From the corner of your eye, you see a little bird fly into the bush, right behind the window, behind Titus's back. You know, they look at me and they say, Surely, surely there's no way you get this 3% check. I said, Gaze. Damn, damn, imagine. The are there, but they. Sorry, you're not coming up with anything. It's still not. Let's look at this as a lure. His wife left him. He needs to kill himself. Make her sorry she did. Smart move. The components are. For starters, you could search the whirling in rags for hidden passages she could have used to get to the roof. There's a can't get through the door. Hey, did someone say hmm. something already? No? Yes? There's a spooky building west of you could crack Classia's last defense. It's that simple. Uh unless we have more business. Say hard to remember with your brain in over Yes. Huff and puff and blow this case wide open. Hmm. No. All right. I think I'm going to call it there. I think I'm going to come back to trying to solve this little mystery of ours in the next little day skis. Um, save the game. Save. Ah, <sighs> Scheiße. Futter. You know, that's good, man. I should have said our goal today was to not cry. And we didn't. You know what though? Somebody told me that I'm not gonna make it through day two once we get to day two stream. But uh, you know, maybe maybe for now, maybe that's for the best. You know, this is in the 50s, but I'm seeing a drone right here on the top. I'm seeing a drone like delivering a package. That, anyways. Well, now I'm enjoying the game on a level that isn't just punishment. You know what I mean? It's good. It's good. I think I'm excited to find out more. Um, now that I'm not working, now that I'm in between jobs, like I said, there should be more frequent uploads. Are those skyscrapers? Dude, I feel like... Is there some time travel? Go oh, get him. Shenanigans going on? Because if it's the 50s and they got skyscrapers like this and helicopters and shit... I, I, I don't know. Anyways. Anyways. I'd like to tell you guys at the end of every video, take care of yourselves and each other. Skate fast when you can. Take a break when you need to. If you ever get tired out there, remember, you can always come right back home here. What am I, in the orb still? I'm still in the orb. <laughs> right back here to the Chad Mafia hideout. All right. Fucking eggplant in my face. Get that off me. <laughs> All right, boys. See you on the next one. Rip squad. Squad, 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 squad.